Now the old edge introduced a method that allowed you to save all your open tabs into what they called a set. You would just click here and we'd say pin to sets and they'd be all put together into these sets that you can see and take a look at and where you could uh, restore the entire set here or one at a time uh, and that's how you restored what you were looking at last. Now in the new edge Chromium uh, it has just what Google has or Chrome has if you go up here to the top corner, you'll see that you can take any particular site and if you right click on the tab and you say pin, it pins it to a little shortcut up here in the corner. Let me go to my site and I'll do the same thing up here and right click and say pin. You'll see that they're pinned up here in the corner. Now that's handy and you know, the old edge uh, actually was a little bit better, but they didn't reinstate the sets instead they've decided to go with something called collections. Now there's a couple ways to access it. We're going to go up here to the little three dots in the corner uh, to look at settings. And we go down here and you'll see that there is a collection item to click on. Oh, let me get down there. Okay, and you'll see a pop-up on the right here that shows you, it tells you about collections. Now the purpose of collections, you can think of them as sort of like favorites on steroids. Just like putting them in folders under your favorites, you can put them over here in collection and you can group them a, a little bit easier. So let's see how they work. First of all, when you click over there, it came up with a screen with collections and you can uh, start a new one. So if you click here, you'll see that it prompts you for the name of your first collection. I'm going to put in here OGG stuff. And I want to hit the enter key. And once you have this collection, you want to put stuff in it. So you'd be on your web page, you click on add this page, and you'll see it as the first entry in your uh, collection. So let's try another one. So I go, uh, let's go to this aircraft website. And uh, once I'm there, all I have to do, just like I did before, you go over here where it says add current page, and boom, it comes listed in the uh, collection. Uh, one more thing you can do, you can click on this little box here that says add note, and you can put a description of this collection. Uh, it's a little obvious when it's uh, related things, but you may want to put a little note to yourself saying, what this collection is all about. And then you just hit the enter key to close the editor. So once you're done with your collection, uh, you can get out of it just by uh, clicking on the back arrow key here. And you're now you're in the higher level look. So I'm going to go ahead and go to one more site and add it to the collection. Uh, we'll go to this bus uh, site about VW buses that I like. And uh, all I have to do is click on the uh, add the current page here and then it appears here. You notice it grabs an image from the page as well. Now to demonstrate how to use them after they've been added, I'm going to uh, I'm going to open up a new tab uh, so I can open up one of these sites. So let me open up a new tab and I just click on something. And boom! There it goes. It jumps right to those sites very easily, very quickly. And now if I go back to the uh, overview, you'll see that all three images are listed here. And now that you're back there, you can just type a different collection. So I'm just going to click on start a new collection up here and we'll be able to create another one. So uh, what's another thing we could do? Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to do one for restaurants in the area. I my favorite restaurants. And I'm going to go there. Now I've skipped all the steps to create this, but now I have three restaurants. I'm going to put a note in here. The, uh, duh, this is about restaurants. So now that I do that, I can go back a level, back up the level to where I'm at the level area and boom there's a list of the two collections that I've created and by the way you can drag this uh, to set their uh, priority if I'm drag and let go let me get it in the right spot and boom it's now in a new order so now let's talk a little bit about editing these now that they exist so if you want to go into one here and we say okay uh, I want to get rid of this one called stuff OGG stuff I just click on the delete icon there and by the way if you make a mistake you can undo it so that's to take care of an entire collection, but let's say I want to go into it and I want to delete one of these. So if I go over here and I hover over an entry, you'll see that in the upper right hand corner, there's a little box. And selecting one of them or more, you can have a share and delete uh, functions available. So you just click on whatever you want to do and boom, you're done. Now one last thing to note that you don't have to, when you're in here in Edge, you don't have to click on the three dots and go down here to collection. They've provided us with a handy little link up here so that you can quickly access it just by simply by clicking on it. And you get to fly out to the right with your collections that you've created.
one last thing to note, you can leave your flyout open if you want because your screen, the window to the websites have it resized so that it still properly displays the content. So there you have it, yet another intriguing new function on the Chromium Edge. If you want to take a look at uh, some of the new features, I'll add this to the playlist. And there's a link to that playlist at the end of this video. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.